All right, everybody. So uh, Billy the Kid, everybody knows Bill the, Billy the Kid, I think. And Tom, I want to start with you because getting a chance to play a character like this, man, had to be pretty exciting. What I love, though, is we also got to see young Billy's story as well. So how much did those scenes actually help you prepare for your part of the role? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a childhood dream, honestly, James. I When I got this role, I was, uh, my, my inner child went nuts and is kind of still going nuts. Um, even just getting to talk about it right now, like, you know, 10-year-old me can't quite believe that I get to do this, uh, but is very grateful that I do. Um, as for young Billy, Jonah Collier is an incredible young actor who has a very bright future ahead of him. Um, and being able to watch him work on the character without a doubt, uh, fed into what I was doing as well. I was, I was saying to someone earlier, it's, uh, Jonah has this incredibly uh, mature and like wise, watchful gaze in his eyes. And watching him work with Eileen early on before I started taking over and stepping into those boots really impacted me because I think whether he knew it or not, Jonah captured this part of Billy that everyone writes about in the stories, which is this kind of wise beyond his years quality and this kind of watchful um very sharp very kind of cynical view of the world um and jonah kind of just instinctually picked up on that um and and it without a doubt gave me a, a really nice platform to then take the mantle and continue that quality absolutely eileen i want to stick in the past a little bit because this this family's been through went through a lot i mean it was really really rough for this family with all the struggle all the tragedy what does it say about kathleen she was able to hold this family together how on earth did she do that i'd say i'd say probably with the she doesn't give up hope and i think that's really important to remember i think once you give up hope things become more tricky so she's a resilient woman that like is always always pushing forward but also there's necessity to it you know what i mean she is she is the mother of her two sons and she is determined to get this american dream you know live a better life and 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 make something of herself um so the necessity of the situation called for her to take on that role but regardless i think her strength of character and sense of self and moral compass and all these things just project her forward to the point where she's a complete survivor and not going to roll over and give up <laughs> considering everything. Yes, that does happen. <laughs> no doubt about that. All right, Daniel, let's talk about Jesse and Billy here for a second. I feel like, do you feel like Jesse is leading Billy maybe to the dark side or maybe is he just trying to look out for him in the only way that he really knows how? Yeah. I, I mean, I don't think he's, I don't think he's trying to lead him to the dark side at all. I mean, I think it is, he's, he's, it's a way of living for him. He doesn't really know anything other than the life he's chosen. I mean, he grew up in the street. He grew up scrapping. And I think Jesse is trying so hard to run away from whatever detritus he has in his past. Um, and, and Billy just finds him. And I think it's a land of survival. It's a harsh world. It's a tough world. It's, it's messy. Um, and, and it's a hustle. There's a constant hustle everywhere and in every aspect of life. And, and Jesse understands that and he's aware of that. Um, and I think he, he's, he's kind of looking, he's looking for allies who can, he can run with, who, who can, you know, be equals with. Um, I, I sort of saw him as a bit of a businessman. And so in some ways, Billy was, a really great partner to be to have in in whatever this ultimate um, plan would be. I mean, Billy's exceptionally gifted. Um, you know, obviously as, as a, a horse wrestler, event, cattle wrestler, eventually with with the pistols. He loves sort of the daring do, the adventure of the whole thing. Um, so yeah, I think I think they connect on that that level, but then they also have a, a, a deeper uh, a deeper connection, which we've spoken about before, is almost like a, a brotherly sort of kinship. Um, which I think is probably the first time Billy Jesse's ever felt something quite like that with anybody. And I think it confuses him um, and it sort of throws him off center. Uh, they come at the world with such different uh, moral compasses and that they're, they're constantly pushing, you know, one another in, in directions of right and wrong. Absolutely. And one of the things that struck me too, because unless anybody's really deep in the history 
of these characters. I, you kind of think, you hear Billy the Kid, you hear Jesse Evan, you, you think gunslingers, right? Well, Daniel, I want you, both of you and Tom to jump in on this. Do you think that people are going to be surprised at just how skilled these guys are beyond just being able to, to, to fire off pistols and stuff? That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Will they be surprised? I, um, I mean, it's a world in which, like, you know, your gun was another arm, you know? It was another limb to these guys. Um, and not everyone carried one and not everyone needed one, but the life they lived where they were roaming around and constantly kind of putting themselves in harm's way, it, they really did have to get skilled with it. And I think also then there's a there's also a slightly uh, showmanship aspect to it, whereby, you know, you get a bunch of uh, young men together and they're kind of, there are no rules for them. I think they get off on on like trying to be the best. There's, there, there's almost like a, there's a camaraderie there, but there's also a competitiveness there. And and I think something with Daniel and, uh, sorry, Jesse and uh, and Billy early on that you see is this kind of, this kind of, they're always kind of one-upping each other. And Jesse, especially because he is this, he's he's the boss, he's the ringleader, but then, then I don't know, at least from my perspective, it seems like Jesse starts to get a little suspicious of Billy's ability to lead and kind of it, it infringes on his, on his leadership quality. And, yeah, that's a recipe for then for then this kind of like toxic competition that happens so i think that i mean like <laughs> sadly you get a bunch of men together and they can't help but show off um so <laughs> oh yeah you guys weren't showing off at all in episodes two and three i'm yeah, just yeah, you know, yeah. not at all no <laughs> what i what i love though about their story is like there's the history aspect of of uh what they're doing with cattle rustling uh which i don't know if like i don't think i've ever seen on the screen but like these guys were essentially the early days of organized crime and they would sort of they would take cattle and they would push them across state lines and then they would give them to another rustling crew and that rustling crew would hand them off and they would confuse the branding and confuse where they've come from and so it was like this that's that's the part that i think skill wise that's the, uh, a new a newer element to the whole the whole thing that i I'm excited. I was really excited to dive into, and I mean, I think there's so much more to 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 dive into, it and some other really colorful characters in history who sort of helped form this thing called the Chain Gang, um, which was exactly that. Yeah, I think, I think that's really important what Dan touched on because I think, um, oh, you know, yes, there is the showmanship aspect, but I also think they're survivors, right? Dan, like they're these are these are young men who, like, you know, Jesse was orphaned at a young age, Billy was orphaned at a young age. They, they end up having a, they fend for themselves very early on um, and they're survivors of, of, of violence. And, and so they have to be skilled, otherwise they're gonna die. It's, it's literally, it's like fight or flight, you know? Um, so I think that's, a, that's an important aspect as well. Absolutely, mm. real quickly, Eileen, I wanna jump in and talk about regret. Do you think that, do you think that Kathleen is regretting leave, did, did she regret taking the family out of New York, you think, really quick? No. Because he, that's a time in New York where there was absolutely no jobs or opportunities. And actually that comes off as a nice thing with Billy. Um, because I check in with him and he asks back and I don't think it is true. I think this is a time where it was quite difficult to be an Irish person and an Irish immigrant. So the head in West, I don't think she would... I think Kathleen's one of these no regrets kind of people. I'm just going <laughs> to... She you is just, pretty, she's just so impressive, but she's so impressive mm -hmm. in this amazing female person bursting with like femininity and vulnerability and strength and all of these things. And he didn't, uh, he's gone. <laughs> absolutely. I'm still here. My camera just bugged out. And I will tell you now that Billy the Kid's going to premiere on Sunday, April the 24th on Epics. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody, for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, James. Thank you.